Hey everybody, good morning. No, seriously, have a look. It is morning. Clock. There we go. I've lost the mouse. It's up here. There we go. Look, Siri. Look. Clock. Morning. Hi. Right, I'm Mark. Yes. Cool. Well, considering that this is the um, view that I'm greeted with this morning, I think it will. it's only customary to show you how to make your ground images look exactly the same. Well, I say exactly the same. I mean, I thought it was only customary to make your ground images look snowy and ice covered and wintry considering it's December why not eh? so yeah I'm just gonna jump straight in here this is a nice little ground image I will put a border around the outside here uh, using the eraser tool so I know where I'm going don't want the rest of it just want the inside got layer zero what I'm gonna do with that so I'm just gonna duplicate it you can do that in two ways either duplicate layer and then click OK or you can drag the layer into the new layer icon down here. We have two copies of the same layer. What I'm going to do with the top one is I'm just going to go onto Image, go to Adjustments, and click on Threshold. Now with Threshold that gives you a weird sketchy sort of look. My mouse ran away again, did you see that? <laughs> gives you a weird sort of sketchy look. We're just going to scroll down through the numbers here. I'm going to stop about 82% uh, for this one because that's where I want to be. Now this is the beginning of making our ground look like it's covered in snow. I know what you're thinking, that's black and white, looks nothing like snow, what are you doing? You're a moron. Yes I am, but that's not the point. After that I'm going to go into image, adjustments, and then hit invert. You're thinking, well okay that looks a bit more like snow but now everything's black and white still, it's not really changed just opposite. Yes it is. <laughs> well what we have here is two layers, our normal summertime texture and a hard winter texture over the top. With the hard winter texture we want to go onto the layer styles, a little drop down here, and click on light and color, or should I say lighter color. And there you go, it's as simple as that really. Yeah, really nice snow covered ground and because we've used the blending of the two layers together, we still retain all our detail. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow in the middle of the runway, but you can probably get rid of that by editing the layer a little bit later. But there we go. Look at that. Under three minutes for snow textures. Now that, my friend, I believe to be a record. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it is literally as simple as that. It doesn't quite look the same as this. Yeah, but still, it'll do the job. So yeah, that's how you make snowy textures for your flight sim. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I certainly enjoyed it when I first learned how to do that. Many, many years ago. I'm not that old. Yeah, well. Anyway, I better move on with this. I'm sort of missing my morning pills or something. I don't know. But still, yeah, that's how you do it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all had a great Christmas, and I hope you all have a wonderful new year. 28th of December, not long to go now. Yeah, thanks for watching. My name's Mark, Softlight Concepts. Peace out.